Alright, so welcome to a new little series on the channel called Road to Max PvP Rank. Now, for those curious on how this sort of works, basically it's going to be complete unedited, kind of like a let's play on just, like, PvP shit. Just, like, loads of things, maybe like 20 minute videos, stuff like that, just grinding PvP, trying to get a rank up to, well, max rank. I don't know if we'll ever get there, but, uh, you know, it'll be fun. Though. Um... I'm doing this on my death knight simply because my ascendant is overpowered. It's going to one shot, well, it's going to wipe everything out too easily. And two, I want to do this on my death knight because one, I'm enjoying my death knight recently. And it's, um, it's actually got no rank in PvP, is what I'm trying to say. I've not actually got any trophies. And I think I got to rank one or something on my ascendant. So, um, you know. We'll just start from scratch. I've also got Cthulhu Adept on this character, so I might try that out, but that class is literally overpowered. By the way, if you want me to do another PvP with ID video, I can't remember who, if anyone actually put the IDs in the description, in the comments. Shit, I can't remember. Maybe do it in this one if you want me to fight you for another PvP ID video. So we've got a warrior here. What damage does this guy do? 58 to 72. Why has he got loads of int on a warrior with a sword? It's a waste of stats, my man. Anyway. Right, so the one thing I love about this guy, you can do this attack. Which, like, it looks like it does nothing, but it drains his well, 83 damage and it heals me. 83? 87? So, yeah. Awesome attack. And then we get this, which increases our damage. It actually um, steals... Um, 30 bonus of him, so he does 30% less damage, and I gain 30% more damage, so it's all such a good attack, and this one just strengthens me about 30%, and then we have our awesome attacks, which are not like overpowered, but they just absolutely wipe enemies out, so look, boom, 345, and we have about 3 attacks that do so much damage. Dickhead. <laughs> we have this one, this one, and this one. So we have so many attacks that are like designed for damage. Boom. 348. So yeah, this is pretty much what it's going to be. I'm going to take my pet off. I don't really want a pet. Uh, where is it here? Unequip. I nearly destroyed him. I don't know why. <laughs> Who have we got next? A Dragon Lord. Nice. You haven't seen a. Is that an Evolved Dragon Lord? I think it might be. Anyway, though, we can uh, do this. Should be good. I don't know if I will do these 20 minutes, though, because... I don't know. Tell me, what, tell me how long you think this should be. Because at the end of the day, I don't mind playing it, and it's up to you whether or not you like it or not. So if you don't like it, just tell me. There's no point in me, like, sat you making 20-minute videos if... No one wants to watch that long. Yeah, just tell me. Tell me if it's like 10 minutes, 15, 20. I don't think I'll go past 20 because it'll probably get boring for me, to be honest. <laughs> but yeah, this Death Knight is like unbeatable. Oh. This Death Knight is literally overpowered. I mean, it's not overpowered, it's just very good. A, a mage, a dragon, dragon mage thing. I just want to get some straight up damage. I can't really bother with the damage over time. Even though the damage over time is like one of the best abilities I've ever seen. But we don't need it. This guy's going to go down easily. This attack here is also really cool. It's like boom, boom, boom. This cat does a lot of damage. 62 to 92. Why do you have strength and stuff? Well. Oh. Victory. That guy was pretty tough. What the fuck? Oh, that's an old Dragon Lord. You've not got a lot of health. 
warrior. Where did all these? Oh. Looks like someone's been neglecting to level his character. Why has he got 19 stat points into his character? Pierce, Nan. I don't, I don't understand why you do that, unless he forgot. Which um, sucks to be you if you forgot. Hit himself. I don't like that, because sometimes you hit yourself when... I think what they do is they ban certain attacks out of the game. Our PvP, so you, you can't use them. So, like, for example, if you were fighting my um, Cthulhu Adept, I probably won't be able to use stuff like my really powerful attacks because it'll just like be too strong and probably hit me instead. And I don't like that. It's a bit annoying because that's not your full potential. It makes sense though, to be honest, because some some abilities will just one shot you. Which is a bit silly. Heal. Alright lad, I just want to get some straight up damage. Without buffs. This guy's- oh he's pretty- oh and he got a crit actually. He's not that strong. King. Why are you called King? This guy has no stats as well. I don't understand that. That's a bit weird. And it's to do it on purpose. I mean, to be honest, back in the day, years ago, I never used to know what um, stats were. I used to never level them. Probably why I found the game so difficult back in that time. <laughs> but yeah, it's a true story. I never knew about leveling stats. And now I do, I find the game a lot easier. <laughs> PvP trophy, yeah. I can now get a rank. For the first rank, we have novice. So how do we rank up again? We need five. That means we have to kill 25 enemies. It goes up a lot, doesn't it? 25 is, well, it's, 25 isn't really a lot, but, you know, it's not a little either. That's so annoying how, like, NPCs are, like, retarded. I mean, that attack is normally, like, so powerful if you buff it. Oh my god, that missed completely. That did- wait, why am I dodging everything? Wait, is it because... I'm gonna say- oh yeah, it's bonus to hit. Oh yeah, that- this attack also reduces bonus to hit. That's pretty good. Stun! Oh, I missed. I'm unbeatable. Oh, there you go. <laughs> well, I don't know how, why I'm getting so lucky and just dodging everything. Kinda weird, that. I'm thinking what I'll do per episode of this is, like, switch classes. Like, uh, this character, I know it sounds really stupid, I have a shit ton of dragon coins. I've got like the Cthulhu Adept armor and I've got, you know, some, well, I tried the Icebound Revenant out and it, it was shit. It wasn't shit, but it costs you 1,800 dragon coins. And it's, um, it's, it's no better than the Death Knight. The reason why I said Death Knight is because it's actually very similar to the Death Knight, but it's not as good. So it's like, why would you spend a thousand eight hundred coins on a death knight? That was weird. It's so on a icebound revenant when you can just get a death knight, which is a class that is very similar. It's funny when I killed that guy. His like soul left his body, kind of um grim. Kind of funny though. <laughs> this guy's got a lot of health. Well, I've got more, but, you know. Called Scythe, and he's using an axe. Hmm. So yeah, I think next time I'll use uh, Cthulhu Adept, and then... 
The reason why I've got so many dragon coins on this character is because when I, I haven't started doing build videos yet, mainly because I'm trying to get this character leveled up. And when I do, I'm going to start making them. I can already do a pretty good build video on the Death Knight, but I might, I'm waiting until I get to level 50 because I start getting some good Death Knight weapons. And the reason why I'm using this sword instead of my necrotic sword is because this ability here, every de de Death Knight item increases the damage of this attack. So I'm just kitted out in Death Knight stuff. Even though the necrotic sword is better, but you know, it's not better for this attack. And I care a lot about that attack. Probably the, my favorite attack on the Death Knight because, you know, it's, it's like, it's a, you don't really get classes where, oh, um, stuff like the equipment that you've got increases your damage. I think that's a really unique and very cool ability to have on a class. I think so, anyway. Where did that do? Oh, he's using his long sword. I was about to say, why is he doing no damage? This attack, I love this one as well. It's like, there's no need for it, but it does a lot of damage. Heals 106 HP. Heals it as a percentage. The Death Knight is such a good class, though. It's like... Oh, fuck off, fun. It's like, um, it's one of those classes that they're not overpowered, but they're just like very good and very survivable. They have good survivability. Kind of embarrassing when his dog is doing more damage than him. Sad times. I'm stunned because that dickhead decided to stun me. Whoa. Oh, I've got an itch. Oh, there he's stunned. Oh, he's alive. Oh, no, he's dead. <laughs> but yeah, it's just a very good, like, solid class. It's honestly becoming, like, my... Well, I think my favourite class in the game so far is... Well, I don't know if it's still Paladin. Because I'm starting to like Death Knight more. Death Knight is just too good. I like the Ascendant as well. I kind of like the Cthulhu Adept, even though I only got it yesterday. But it's a very fun class. Also a very cool looking class. That's why I love Death Knight so much. Like, to me it's the... Probably the coolest looking class in the game, I think. Fennel. 108, wow. These damage over times you get are so good. This one is also a damage over time. I also do a damage over time. As like natural, this ability shifts it and it be and it can make it become a heal over time. Oh shit! I didn't mean to click it. <laughs> but yeah, there's just so much like over time stuff that you get on this character. It's too good. Next fight. Got a random mage, Kappa. I haven't found like a good a good fight yet because I know these are like NPC controlled so like they're not very clever but it'd be nice to find someone who's actually a good fight <laughs> that shield really helped didn't it <laughs> kind of funny I'll do one more trophy yeah this is gonna take a very long time I might never complete it, to be honest. Because I'm pretty sure by, like, the last few ranks, it's going to cost, like, hundreds of trophies. It's going to be, like, a thousand fights to get, like, <laughs> the last rank or something stupid like that. But it's just fun to actually make a little series on this. It's pretty much like that as player, but like PP, PV, I can't even, PP, 
a PvP version of the Let's Play. Why does this castle look retarded? You could have got a mirrored Dragon Lord helm and it would change the colour of your armour. Uh. Next match. Oh. Is that, I'm pretty sure that's Frostmoglin. Oh, I can look, can I? This class used to be like ridiculously overpowered, I think. Yeah, Frostmoglin. For 48 to 80. Pretty sure it used to be like overpowered and they nerfed it. I think it is. I don't know if it's still good. It might be a good class to use. I mean, I don't think you can get it anymore. So it is kind of like a. Did it come out in like April Fools or something? Or was that a different class? I know I know a class came out in April Fools. Can't remember which one it was. Four twenty two. Can't wait until I get like a new a new weapon. Because that's the thing, like imagine when I've got like a level I believe when I get a level fifty weapon, that is a couple of really cool Death Knight stuff I can get. And that would be so strong. Ridiculous. Badok. Oh, he's using a long sword. Reap. Can I figure out why this stuff does that? Because, um, well, I didn't figure out. I think someone told me in one of my videos. It's like, the reason why it does this is because if you don't have a dragon amulet, um, saving gear, like some some gear doesn't work, it's to the point where like, I don't think you can save armor sets, can you? Unless you have a dragon amulet. Don't quote me on that. I don't know, but I think it's something like that. That was easy. It would be good if you got XP and like gold from these. Because I could, well, I couldn't really, but I could spend a long time farming these. Guys, a lot of health. I gotta spend like so long farming like PvP, just grinding it and stuff, but you don't really get any rewards. Well, you get the trophies, and you, when you cash them in, it unlocks shops. But they're not that good, the shops. The first couple of level shops I've seen are just. Kinda of shit to be honest. Keep hitting my hand on the bottom of my desk. So one thing annoying thing about recording this game is because y you pretty much use one hand to play this. And like I never know where to put my other hand. I end up like putting it on my lap under the desk and then I was end up whacking the desk. Dread. I always hated those pets. They're kind of retarded. <laughs> I mean, they're probably good and all, but it's like they just don't look like good pets. Next match. Jovan. 63 to 96. He's got a lot of strength. No wisdom. I actually don't really need it on a. No. No. I said no. Fuck me. <laughs> oh god. I have my phone muted, like, sound turned off, but that dick can still, like, make sound. Jesus Christ. It's kind of funny, to be honest. <laughs> it must have been more times than I would care to imagine. What are, like, hell, like, hood and stuff is this guy wearing? Is there stuff you get from Aquiloth when you kill him? It looks like that sort of stuff. It looks quite cool.
Don't know why I did that, that was a bit overkill. But we're done. Ba -da, ba -dum -ba -dum. Got another trophy. We can't cast these in because... Wait, can we cast them in? Heal. Can we cast them in? No, I thought we could maybe give three to her and then she like save him. Save him. You know what I mean? Let's see what she has in the shop. Pretty crap stuff, really. I mean, rank one is not exactly hard to get, so... And that that's why. Anyway, going to leave this on here. Tell me what you think about this um series thing. Um, I think I'll play more, definitely. I like PvP, and I think a few of you like it too, so, um, you know. I mean, this was kind of suggested to me as an idea, so, you know. Anyway, thank you for watching. See you guys, and bye-bye.